Arlington police say a tattoo shop owner claimed he was in fear when he shot and killed an employee who he had just fired. But the murder suspect also allegedly told police he had a loaded gun ready to go before the confrontation ever started. Fox News' Peyton Yeager spoke to the victim's friends and loved ones. Peyton. Steve, Arlington police say the owner of the tattoo shop stayed on scene and spoke to officers. They later determined he had no reason to use deadly force, and then the owner was taken into custody and charged with murder. Because every time I needed something, talk to somebody who was there, and I'm not going to be able to talk to him. Saul Medina will miss his friend of seven years. He was really my best friend. 46-year-old Tony Turgeon. And it hurts. It hurts that he's gone in that way, you know. Police say Turgeon was shot and killed at his job, Vato Loco Tattoo Studio, at Cooper and Division Street. The shop's owner, 42-year-old Javier Arredondo, is now charged with murder. Just after 2 p.m. Tuesday afternoon, police say Arredondo called 911, saying he had just fired Turgeon and Turgeon refused to leave. As officers were en route to the location, the call upgraded and uh, advised that shots had been fired. According to an arrest warrant affidavit Fox 4 obtained on Wednesday, Arredondo told police Turgeon demanded his final paycheck and then got angry, shaking a display case and knocking things off the counter. Employees say they were told to leave and they heard three gunshots being fired. Just to know that my friend got his life taken away just over an argument. Arredondo told investigators he was in fear during the argument, but he also told them prior to Turgeon's arrival, he'd already loaded a gun and placed it on the counter next to him. Police say they allowed Arredondo multiple chances to explain why he was in fear. We learned that the victim was unarmed. There was no evidence that the victim attempted to assault the suspect. Arredondo says Turgeon never made any threats, presented any weapon, or made any physical contact with him, only repeating to officers he was, quote, just in fear. After consulting with the Tarrant County District Attorney, detectives determined under the law the use of deadly force was not justified. Part of him didn't even want to go in yesterday, but he was just like, I just need to find out if I have a job or not. Yvette Lozano says Turgeon was close to her and her four kids. Now she's left with memories and a reminder on her ring finger. He just wanted something of us. A crown, a tattoo, Lozano says the two got together. Like, I can't believe it. I don't want to believe it. Um, I'm still trying to process it. After his initial interview on scene, Arredondo then decided not to cooperate with investigators. He remains in the Tarrant County Jail this evening.